Disclaimer. Hypnosis is not a substitute for appropriate medical attention. The MP3s on this site are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure or prevent any disease or illness. Always consult your physician or therapist when considering using a hypnosis product. Hypnosis recordings are not recommended for people suffering from mental disorders or illness. Always make sure to listen to hypnosis products in an environment that is safe. Do not listen to hypnosis recordings whilst driving a car or operating any kind of machinery. Also, do not listen to hypnosis recordings when drinking alcohol or taking drugs. Welcome to Birth Rocks Hypnosis for Morning Sickness. This recording is of a hypnotic nature and should not be used while driving a car or operating machinery. Find somewhere that you won't be disturbed to listen to this track and play this track every day until you achieve the desired effect. Don't worry if you fall asleep during the track, you will still experience the benefits. Imagine a beautiful deep red closed rosebud. The petals curled slightly outward, revealing occasional dewdrops from the morning shower. The rose petals begin to uncurl and like a movie speeded up you can actually see the petals begin to unfold in slow motion. The rosebud is velvety soft and a beautiful perfume begins to caress your nostrils and as the rosebud uncurls little by little you are completely absorbed in the beauty of the rose. Slowly and gradually, the petals open up as the perfume becomes heavier and more powerful. The rose is a beautiful, deep shade of crimson, and the contrasting green leaves with delicate threads running through entrance you. You marvel at the beauty of the rose. You may begin to wonder at the center of the rose. How will you see it? Will the flower open up enough? The inner petals are carefully wrapped around each other like a closely guarded secret. And as you focus your mind completely on this beautiful rose, you may perhaps feel drawn to the center of the rose and it's almost as though you are entering the flower as that once tight bud begins to uncurl and you're being drawn into the centre and into the stem and it's as though you're travelling through a long tunnel and even as you find yourself being drawn into and through this tunnel you can sense and feel and know that you are safe you are comfortable feeling peaceful and if you wish you can pause here because you now have a choice you can continue through the stem of the rose until you find your root going back and back deeper and deeper down and down and when you find your roots you can enter the beautiful earth and be in touch with the very essence of your being. Or you can return to the center of the rose and look out from that beautiful bud onto a beautiful day. You may see the sun shining down on you or you could feel the gentle morning dew you can see the world through a new pair of eyes as though you're looking on it now as never before you can see colours you never imagined possible you hear the sound of grass whispering to each other you can feel a calm, peaceful tranquility absorb that peace as your mind drifts and wonders like the petals floating past. Now nothing disturbs that peace. 
as you relax and let go deeper and deeper and while you can enjoy learning on a conscious level your unconscious mind can for you begin to utilize this beautiful feeling of relaxation to explore all those abilities that you have in the center deep down in the roots the center that part of you that was aware of your existence before you were of this time morning sickness is usually associated with pregnancy and although it can be an uncomfortable sensation it's perfectly normal for many women it simply means that you're going to have a baby and that changes are going on in your body you already know deep inside you that there's nothing wrong with feeling nauseous or being sick it's due to chemical changes and extra demands on your body indeed many women feel nauseous or are actually sick but don't even worry about it they simply accept it as a normal part of their pregnancy knowing that it will be over soon some pregnant women have cravings for food they don't normally eat and their body may be trying to get rid of that food by making them sick in this case it can be very healthy to get rid of the food that your body doesn't really need being aware of this condition helps you to find ways of dealing with it and one way that can help is to adjust your routine if something triggers the sickness then know what that trigger is and avoid it another way is to distract your mind and you can do this in many different ways for example remember a time when you felt really well a time in your life when you were full of energy and vitality and everything was going just fine just the way you liked it to be really remember the situation in every detail where you were who was with you what you are doing how good you feel the sense of smell is the most primitive of all so if there are any special aromas associated with this memory permit them to surface right now here in hypnosis and you find that you can feel this way simply by thinking of it you can feel good you can feel calm and relaxed and comfortable if you can't think of a particular smell then imagine yourself walking through a lovely market with many different stars notice the colors and the various displays and the atmosphere here i don't know if you've ever experienced this but a lady that i know quite well told me how she was strolling through a continental market that had come to her town and stopping at one of the stalls she noticed one that sold beautifully fragranced soaps and scented wood that was shaped in the form of fruit kiwi and lemons and lime grapes and many others and she picked up the citrus shaped wooden fruit and lifted it up to her nose and the lemony scent filled her nostrils it was heaven she closed her eyes for a moment and the aroma transported her back to a time when she was very young making fresh lemonade with her mother and her mother would slice the lemons with a very sharp knife and she would watch as the juice oozed out of the fruit and find that it made her produce extra saliva when she picked it up and put it into the juicer 
and when her mother wasn't looking, she would sometimes put a slice of that lemon into her mouth, and at first it tasted quite sour as the juice squirted out, but it left such a lovely lemony smell, and her mouth felt so clean and sharp afterwards. And you can really smell and taste that tangy lemon right now and any time that you think about it. And if you feel nauseous after this, all you need to do is to remember that lemony, tangy taste or smell and you will immediately feel all right again. Another technique that can be quite useful is to focus on your fingers. Imagine those fingers feeling quite numb, like you've been sitting on them for so long. Remember the dead weight of a hand, so much so that you can't move the hand without picking it up with the other one. And when your hand feels really numb, you can imagine picking it up and placing it over your abdomen. And as your hand comes to rest on your abdomen, you can feel that numbness transferring itself onto the skin of your stomach and penetrating the stomach lining and flowing into the tummy and the womb itself. A lovely, comfortable, numb feeling that takes away any uncomfortable ones and makes you feel good again and later when you're holding your precious newborn baby in your arms you can feel proud of yourself for coping this way without drugs that could potentially harm your unborn baby feel your baby now in your arms imagine the smell of a newborn infant the touch of the skin and the feeling of warmth and love that you have. I'm going to be quiet for a few moments while this image really formulates in your subconscious mind and when it does, just nod your head. That's good. Now you know there is nothing to worry about if you should feel nauseous during your pregnancy. It's just your body's way of adjusting itself to these unseen demands. But you also know ways of helping yourself and these will immediately spring to mind and you will utilise them in your own special way. When you're ready, I'm going to count up from one to five. Please come all the way back at the count of five. Mind and body returning to normality. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> 